what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel today we are finally showing some love to the rsx the car has been begging me for some maintenance for some upgrades and i got some time finally so we're going to be doing that and we're actually going to be installing something that the car has needed for a long time ever since i got serious about drag racing uh one of the main complaints that i always said on the channel was kind of our launch and watching videos you just watch the back of the rsx it just hops and hops so I'm finally getting around to installing my 18K rear springs from Tane that I bought from Tane because they offer an 18K rear spring. We're going to be stiffening up the back end of this car and hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully improving our 60 foot. So I'm going to show you kind of like a, a before right now. Well, I'll give you a part number first and a before of how it squats or how much we can, uh, how much rebound we get out of it. And then we'll see what happens after we install them. All right, so part number for you guys, they're just two replacement springs right here uh you're gonna have to get three get these through a tain dealer uh you can't just go to like the tain website and buy these so you have to find someone in your area that's a dealer for tain products and then you could get them so there's your part number again so since i'm in the garage i don't have really uh, a good angle to to show you guys how much this rear goes down so this is the best you're gonna get uh this is me putting pretty much my full weight on the car and you can see that's kind of when we get that weight transfer we get this much movement so now we're after we install them we'll see how much we get if we get any at all i'm hoping to get none but that also means the rear end is going to be really stiff i also want to mention to you guys before this video even goes any further because i'm sure there's a lot of views out there that understand suspension uh suspension tuning and all that way better than i do what i'm about to do right now is it's technically not the proper way you should be doing this anytime you're making a major spring change so Right now, I believe these are like 10 or 12K, and then you go to all the way up to 18, you need to revalve your coilover. It, that, you, that's the proper way to do it. So just know, I understand this. I'm just swapping springs right now. Uh, these coilovers are old. They do need to be rebuilt, but I, I, I wanna replace them in the future. I wanna see if I could try to get a real drag spec coilover kit for the RSX, but for now, we're just slapping springs on. If you wanna do this the proper way, send your coilovers in. Tane will rebuild them for you, revalve them for you for 18K, and that's the right way to do it. So if you guys have never done coilovers on an RSX, I'll give you a quick walkthrough on how to do it uh, in the rear. So uh, they're very simple. All you have is one bolt down here. So you'll see it's a through bolt. That's a welded on nut. So you're not gonna loosen it from the nut side. You have to go on the opposite side uh, where the bolt, so the bolts would be right under here. So that's one bolt down here. Then you go to the trunk area or the hatch area. My interior is like semi gutted so i didn't have to take too much but you're gonna have to pull this plastic panel off or just move it to the side like i did and then you got the two nuts up top for the coilover and it drops right out if you've been with this channel for a while now i'm gonna say like two plus years since i started it you know i already made the first mistake and that you could do when you start a project and i made this mistake multiple times and it's always bitten me in the ass i said it's gonna be simple Mark my words, <laughs> something is gonna happen. I hope not, but I already said it's pretty simple to do. Something's gonna happen. So we got the coil over out, it's completely filthy. I'll probably clean it off. But one thing I want to uh, just let you guys know is it's better if I had it like this. As you can see this top is, uh, if I can hold it steady, it's really loose. And the reason it's really loose is because 
on certain RSX coilovers, the height adjustment, they're, they're doing it with the spring preload, meaning you have to, if you want to drop it, you have to bring the spring lower and you're reducing preload on it. I could probably increase the spring load if I wanted to and it would have stiffened the launch. But I still drive it on the street, so I kind of want it to look a certain way. But where I'm getting at is pretty much the spring is not uh, loaded. So it's loose right here. I don't need to use a spring compressor. I might crack these, drop the spring a little lower because I'm going to have to redo the ride height once I put the new spring on it. Maybe I, I'm going to judge it based off of when I start loosening that if I see the top hat starting to move up. But uh, so I, I technically don't need one. If you have one, I suggest using it unless you really feel comfortable with what you're doing. But uh, all we're going to do now is loosen up this nut. Looks like it's a 14 or something like that. Remove the top hat, place the spring, clean it up, put it back in, and we're done. very important guys do not lose the orientation of how everything comes apart as you can see well I pretty much I left this guy in here just so I know that's how it went so it was a big washer first then a spacer then the top hat then the nuts so just keep that all in order and you pretty much saw me lift it a little bit you just kind of pull your spring out try to t you know pay attention to how you're taking it out uh, there's flat spots top and bottom. They're probably the the rule of thumb usually is always put the, the wording Upright so you can read it. That's kind of how you know top to bottom and that's it So now we're gonna grab our 18 cable first. We're gonna clean all this off Probably put a little bit of uh, like silicone or something so this doesn't make noise clean all this off and it's just reassembly and coilover is back assembled it <laughs> semi new it looks kind of semi new uh, but yeah, so this was very simple. Uh, I don't have a torque spec for you guys on this. I'm sorry. I just kind of went to what, you know, common sense, what feels good. So I just snug that down in case you're curious. This is a 14 and then they have a little notch at the top because I tried to use my impact gun, but it just kept spinning the whole shock body. So uh, there's little slots cut right here at the top. That's an eight millimeter wrench, 14. It was very easy to crack loose. And that's it. I didn't have to adjust my spring height. So the car is probably going to sit a little higher though. I'm, I'm almost positive about that, that the spring, the, the height of the rear of the car, it's going to be higher because the springs are not going to compress as much. So I'm not going to adjust that right now. I'm going to leave it the way it is. We'll see what the height looks like, if I like it or not, and we'll take it from there. So let's put this in, do the same thing on the other side, and we'll drop the car. So I just dropped the car down on, uh, on the rear wheels, and it's pretty much like I expected. Uh, yeah, we got a major increased wheel gap now, so the, the car is going to have to come down in the rear, maybe. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, obviously there's wheel gap here. It's, it has a raked look now, so I, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, I hate doing ride height, but I got to do it. I haven't tried to compress the suspension yet. I figured I'd do it on camera. So I'm going to set you guys down, and uh, we're going to do this all in one shot. Let's try to get back to where we were, something. I think we were somewhere there. Close the hatch. I'll do it with the hatch open. Uh, there's still some movement. But I do feel the springs fighting me a little bit more. It 
So the there is still some squat. I'm putting weight on it. The car is squatting a little bit. Is it better? I can't really say. Um, I have to drive it. I'll, I'll see if I take it around the block real quick. And I got to still see the ride height. It's obviously going to settle very little, not much, but it is going to settle a little bit. I think I'll decide what I want to do with the ride height after it settles overnight. So let me clean up and we'll see what we'll go around the block or something. So immediately what I'm noticing, the back is it's a little hoppier, um, which is, I got to figure that's what was going to happen. It was just going to bounce a little bit more because it's, it's a little stiffer, but it's not horrible. Uh, but the car, it just it needs an alignment so bad. I let go of the wheel and it just wants to go left. Uh, check this out. I'm already going left, so. The whole reason I did this was I need to get that alignment. I figured since we're out, we might as well pick up some essentials. Uh, I'm a Twisted Tea guy. I don't know what about you guys. Drop it down in the comments, but Twisted Tea Peach. That's my summer drink. All right, so here's the final height of the car. As you can see, the back is, well, the car is raked. The back is a little higher up. I'm not, I don't hate it, but uh, probably gonna drop it maybe like an eighth of an inch from the back. I don't wanna go a quarter. I don't wanna go too much either. The car probably needs the rake, but after driving it, and I'm pretty sure that's the way it's gonna settle. So that's a job well done. Everything went the way it should. Honestly, the hardest part was reinstalling the coilover because when I went to put the lower bolt on, it was harder to uh, bring the rear trailing arm down. Bring yeah, bring it down so I could line up the bolts hole, the bolt to go through the hole because the springs were fighting me. I had to like compress it. It was a little harder because the springs were a little stiffer. But overall, like it actually went the way it was supposed to. So I'm super happy about that. I'm about to wash the car right now. We're not filming that, but. I need to wash it. I need to clay bar it in preparation for tomorrow because I finally got Jay to come out. He's going to do a full detail. I'll be making a video on how to polish, we're going to say, your single stage Mako paint job because Jay's going to be able to do it. I know he could do it and he's going to make it look better than what it actually looks like now. So I'm, I'm excited about that to finally get some sealing on it because it is getting swirls because there's not a real clear coat on it. I was getting a little discouraged, but he's going to bang that out. He's, well, it's going to be an all-day thing because i got to wash a clay bar, and then tomorrow he's going to polish it. Uh, then we got to put a sealant on it. And that's his expertise. I just fixed the car. So I'm glad I'm making videos again. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit subscribe. There's a ton of RSX content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay motivated and keep making those streets louder.